Hello, Pedro. Hello, Agatha. How are you? Uh, thank you. I'm fine. I, ho I hope you also are very fine. Um, today, I would like to discuss with you a very, uh, very nice topic. It's about serial production. So we will talk about uh, VDE 6.3 in terms of P5, P6 and P7. So I guess a lot of people is interested in this because now we will be producing a value for our customers in manufacturing process. So I'm giving you the voice. Okay, thank you. So, regarding P5, P6 and P7, and also to say that these are the most used process elements. Using VW example, for instance, they don't audit P2, P3, P4. They have other tools that they use, uh, namely the formal queue for the development phases. So, when they are coming to, to an audit, they focus on P5, P6, P7. Okay. People might think that this is good news, but not to forget that the first question for P6 will talk also about project. So the ending over of the project from development to production will still be audited. But what are we going to have here in P5, P6 and P7? Let's make it very simple. Supplier management, production and customer service. So supplier management uh, is considered as part of the series, uh, series life. But in fact, its activities start earlier. Uh, P5 activities start with the selection uh, of suppliers, start with the deployment of our customer requirements and our requirements down the supply chain, start with quality agreements, with the, the, the contracts, with the framework, uh, to existing between ourselves, customers, and our suppliers. Only then, after that, we will start about talking about uh, approvals, supplier PPAP approvals. Uh, we'll start talking about how we make sure that our incoming products or services are according to specifications. You might call it quality incoming, uh, making sure that quality inspection, it's just one of the ways to reply to that, uh, to that requirement. Uh, and we will end up already in-house. So P5 will, will come from the supplier basis and will enter our facilities. It will come to our incoming. It will go to our warehouses. And it can be plural warehouses for components, for parts, or for chemicals, or for bulk material, whatever warehouses we are talking about for uh, incoming products or services. And we'll include also, of course, the training for people working in the interface with, uh, with suppliers. Let me jump to P7 because it will be the final output and it will be customer service. After we deliver our products to the customer, how are we providing a service uh, to receive feedback, to support the customer? One important topic, if something abnormal occurs, what is the contingency plan for that? How are we answering to claims that can be the so-called zero kilometers or warranty or field claims? Uh, and also, also uh, talk about the, the training for the people working in the interface with the customers. P6, that is the main part of the audit, uh, it can be uh, divided in several steps. As in one of the um, previous episodes, if we have uh, steel cutting, uh, stamping, uh, welding, assembling, painting, then it's up to the auditor to decide if he, he or she will audit all together or if they will divide in several process steps. If they divided it in several process steps, then P6 will have to be repeated in every single process step. And furthermore, P6 is subdivided according to the turtle that we'll talk about in one of the next episodes. P6 is divided in inputs and outputs. 
And to transform the inputs into outputs, we will need methods, we will need people, we will need materials, and we will need also to measure the process or KPIs to measure the effectiveness of the process. So it means that if we have several process steps, the output of one process step will become the input of the next process step. So we will have to go process step by process step, auditing and auditing the interfaces in between those process steps. So if you are planning um, P5, P6, P7 audit or a complete VDA 6.3 audit, make sure that you have enough time to audit the several process steps, the several P6 in the, in the company that you are auditing to make sure that you get the enough detail to make a detailed report later on. Okay, so um, honestly, I really like this part of uh, VDE 6.3 audit because it's really very detailed. I like P6 um, on the shop floor uh, because it's uh, really uh, fulfilling all the requirements for process approach as you as you mentioned from inputs to outputs and we are uh, discussing each operation each process step um, as an input to another process step yes uh, so i think this is really very important uh, episode for all the people who all engineers working on the shop floor uh, to assure uh, that the product quality is uh, really assured also, let's not forget about P7 because uh, all the automotive is about customer satisfaction. And in P7, actually, we are uh, we are discussing if we achieved this customer satisfaction. Okay, Pedro. Thank you very much. Let's maybe discuss in another episode about uh, the scoring, how to evaluate the results of VDA 6.3 audit. Very Thank good you. topic. Thank you, Agatha.